Hey, hi, Ujjwala. Uh, this is Amit here. So basically, we are looking for data analysts. So, and I saw your profile. So um, seems to be fit, but uh, just wanted to heard from you. So can you explain about uh, you know, your self experience so that we can get to know what kind of skill sets you hold? Yes. Uh, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a pleasure to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ujwala Bharti. I'm from Pune and uh, I have completed master's in commerce from Pune University. And about my experience, I am having 16 years experience. Uh, and uh, with the help of uh, lots of tools, uh, uh, that is uh, SQL, uh, Advanced Excel, Python, Tableau, Tally. Uh, I'm uh, creating reports through Tableau. And uh, about my day-to-day -day, uh, routine, uh, that is uh, I'm interacting with client as well as my project team, uh, understanding their requirements. And uh, I'm working on four levels, that is uh, uh, using four uh, tools. Uh, that is one is uh, advanced Excel, where I extract and uh, transform my uh, data set and uh, where I clean and Cleaning and data data profiling is doing there. After that, I transform uh, that data set into SQL, where I uh, perform few queries like uh, join, uh, constants, uh, set procedures, operators, where clause. And then again, I extract uh, those, those insights uh, in SQL, Excel and uh, where I create dashboards as well as uh, I'm ha having knowledge of uh, visualization tool like Tableau, and uh, I'm having basic knowledge of uh, Python also. Uh, that's it, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So uh, in terms of SQL, so uh, what kind of, uh, uh, basically what, what type of languages do you know about SQL has, uh, there are various types in uh, languages in SQL. So what are the types? Uh, do you know anything about that? Uh, SQL uh, languages are DDL, uh, mm -hmm. DML, TCL, mm -hmm. and uh, TCL and uh, DCL. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, can you explain a bit uh, for all those four what is being mean by them and what kind of queries so are used in those languages? Basically, time we, we use data manip uh, data manipulation language. Mm -hmm. uh, all the queries are uh, which are uh, we are running in SQL are mm -hmm. uh, basically known as a data manipulation language mm -hmm. and uh, uh, data definition language we use uh, five percent only only dml we use 95 percent so mm -hmm. okay okay so and say a uh, scenario where we have uh, two different tables and uh, we want to use data from both of tables so how how you will try to achieve that uh, data and what kind of activities you will perform on those tables Okay, so joining for two tables, I use a uh, uh, SQL join, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, different type of join, like uh, inner join, left join, dive join, outer join, and self join, sir. So mm -hmm. based on the common uh, common uh, table, common column, uh, mm -hmm. we join the two tables. Okay. So basically, for the join. We uh, basic requirement is to two tables minimum mm -hmm. and the common column mm -hmm. and the data type should be integer form. So okay, okay. So um, so as you know, joins are there. You have used join, but say there is a large number of data which is being fetched now, and uh, you want to um, you know segregate them into say say one city data or another city data so how you would achieve that activity what uh, what what do you will use in sql query that will help you to group them i use group by sir group by clause sir okay. so and... where we can segregate the data by city by gender wise mm -hmm. like um, id okay. wise so means okay and what kind of um, uh, query you will use uh, what would be the uh, take any example. I don't know the syntax, but give me an example. Uh, just explain the approach. Okay, suppose uh, you take any two tables. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
uh, suppose we have a customer table and uh, uh, so i'll write query like uh, select uh, let's take an example that you have a uh, bangalore data customer data and pune customer data and uh, that we need to fetch only the pune data right or or say we have joined that and we want to order them so take any example um, like bangalore data or pune data so two tables if for join i will use uh, select star from bangalore uh, uh, inner join uh, 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 Pune uh, I'm sorry okay so both of table will have sir, sir, something in common right so yes. you will use that column column that's what yes. we want to achieve okay yes. so in terms of say you have that data and now we have exported that data in in excel um and you want to use some mathematical functions say assume that for pune we want to find the grand total of uh, all the orders so what function you will use in excel there are I... certain arithmetic functions available in excel so which yes. which function you will use uh first uh, i will uh, filter uh, data uh, city wise like uh, mm -hmm. i will filter on pune and mm -hmm. then I will, uh, at the end of the table, I will calculate like uh, is equal to sum and uh, okay. select all the uh, values. Okay. Of... Say on similar lines, what are the other mathematical functions we can use in the same, for the same thing? So uh, what are the other? We, uh, uh, without filtering data, we can use subtotal formula, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it will automatically, if we filter any, uh, any city, so it will show mm -hmm. automatically uh, change the uh, values so okay and what about our average mean or max can we implement that into similar example oh yes sir okay so what is the output for average and mean and max so max sir uh, Let, take any example say say max value is 10000 and uh, 0 to 10000 Take any example. So between that range and your highest value is say nine thousand. So what the max uh, output for the max would be, and what would be the output for the uh, min here? Okay. In in another way, we can use a conditional formatting also, sir. For mm -hmm. that, so okay. in conditional formatting, there is option of a uh, average, and we can give even range of uh, uh, values. So okay. it will automatically find out the uh, values, sir. Okay. So as you mentioned, conditional formatting. Do we have an ability to uh, highlight certain cells based by using conditional filters? Um, yes, please yes. explain with some any example. Oh yeah, conditional formatting. We can mention. Uh, may, uh, we can uh, highlight the duplicates value, sir. Also, mm -hmm. we can uh, highlight the equal values or uh, mm -hmm. uh, in between the sir. Or okay. even we can define the text, uh, yes, no, or uh, true, false, in mm -hmm. red or green, but uh, in any uh, color which you want. Okay, okay. So means conditional format based on the data and the based on the condition. condition, it will highlight the cell. Correct. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So next is say uh, we have a table available, and uh, so what is your approach when we want to create a interactive dashboard? How we will approach that? You have a table given in Excel sheet. Say it contains five thousand records, and you you are you have been asked to create a dashboard. Okay, so how you will approach and how you will create an interactive dashboard? Run me through the process. Not exact steps we are required. Just up, approach and the process, not yes, syntax sir. and everything. Well, first, I will uh, check all the data is there in all mm -hmm. the columns, and then I will uh, select all the data, and mm -hmm. I will create a pivot table. Uh, based on pivot table, uh, uh, I will put dimensions and measures in whatever uh, uh, is the requirement. Like mm -hmm. uh, uh, I want to say, uh, I want to check this country wise sale or the department mm -hmm. wise sale or the category wise sale. So I will put uh, those uh, dimensions and measures. And after that, I will use a slicer 
so after that i will create a um, pivot chart mm -hmm. on uh, on the base of a pivot table and uh, 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 multiple i will create multiple charts according to requirements and i okay. uh, will connect uh, all the charts with the help of slicers also okay so what what is basically uh, objective of using slicer or why we are using slicer here so slicer is a if you want to check the specific data like mm -hmm. uh, if you want to check specific uh, uh, details of specific country in uh, various charts so mm -hmm. on one click you can check uh, all the details uh, okay. which is available in slicer okay so now we have created some dashboard in excel so and say we have a, a tool available called tableau as well so why we would choose tableau and when, at when at which situation we need to use excel and in, in which situation we need to use tableau uh, what is your take on this oh so uh, excel is having data limitations sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, where tableau can connect uh, multiple sources and mm -hmm. uh, without any pre programming language sir. so mm -hmm. uh, only drag and drop uh, processes there so if uh, i am having the data is more than 10 lakh uh, and uh, so i can i will definitely prefer tableau mm -hmm. so it's more easier and more faster mm -hmm. um, and it, it will create a more uh, smart dashboard so uh, okay. through tableau okay so when you say smart dashboard it means that uh, more interactive or more accurate uh, which parameter we are looking for uh, smart dashboard it means uh, it more faster sir so mm -hmm. i will share uh, within seconds mm -hmm. okay okay so when we say uh, various sources so do we have ability in tableau to connect say for example sql server so what is what are the general steps available in tableau yeah we can connect uh, all dot data sets uh, in tableau so 70 plus mm -hmm. data sets we can get okay. connected okay so means they we have ability to connect to various sources around 70 data sources you can connect okay mm -hmm. so uh, in terms of tableau say we, you have created a, a dashboard and you want to share so how you we can do that in tableau uh, i will uh, convert it into pdf format also mm -hmm. uh, and uh, i will share by uh, after that i can convert pdf into image also mm -hmm. and i can share this by email with my stakeholders okay okay that's fine so um, so let's assume that uh, do you do you have any experience in team handling um, yes sir i am currently handling uh, 30 project managers sir, uh, as mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, we are having 30 projects in hand so mm -hmm. okay so and uh, what about client facing so have you faced any challenge uh, while facing clients so what were the problematic situations where um uh, you face that, that uh, it's difficult to you know manage client so have you faced any challenges in client interaction oh yes initial days of what happened as uh, we are very small company so we don't have any type of uh, formats and all so mm -hmm. it was uh, difficult to manage the what was the scenario and uh, what was the uh, commitments given by the our project team so mm -hmm. i developed full few formats for them and even for client team so mm -hmm. we we both we actually three teams like um, for from my side and from project team and from client team so now we are in same page with those mm -hmm. formats so, okay, so i created these formats in excel and after that uh, i use sql and tableau for uh, presenting Okay, so it means that you brought the standardization to the uh, to everyone on the same page, right? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, so because standardization. Uh, normally, yeah. uh, maximum non-technical peoples are there. Mm. So we I prefer uh, Excel that uh, is uh, better for Correct. everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You did some standardization for yes. the you know improvement of the process. So, so, uh, so, do you have any questions for me uh, today? So I gone through uh, your journey, and uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, my my skills are uh, fit into this. So mm -hmm. right now I don't have any query. I'm just mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to know when I can join, sir. Yeah. So basically, I will provide my feedback to the hiring team, and based on that, I think if required, they may schedule another round, and uh, based on that, we can take it further. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, then. Yes. Thank you for your time today, Ujula. Have a nice yes, day. Thank you, sir.